Hello guys, I am SL Pradeep Kumar. I am assistant professor in Kalinga Karnanidhi Institute of Technology from Aeronautical Department. Uh, today we are going to see about the topic CFD. Uh, in this topic I can give you about an introduction to the computational fluid dynamics. This uh, topic is mainly used for every person from every other departments, maybe from biomedical, agri, then civil and all departments will be uh, applicable for the CFD applications. But uh, mostly CFD means everyone can know that it is a software, maybe it is a subject which is relevant for analysis and in uh, theoretical subject they are doing and seeing about the programs and how to get analyzed and various methods. But in introduction, uh, I just told to uh, told you about how you can be able to understand the important concepts of CFD. Actually, the CFD is mainly used for us to get the uh, accurate result, which is an uh, built a bridge between the theoretical, uh, experimental, and as well as the theoretical uh, knowledge. So the CFD is uh, one major theme or a software or an analysis uh, technique which is used to uh, go through the experimental results when it's compared with the theoretical result. When you comparing these both things, uh, all those times a lot of errors will be occurring in every experimental values when scientists or research scholars were doing, lot of errors will be occurs. Uh, during their uh, experimental when we compare with the theoretical values or uh, knowledge or the things they want to correct uh, for their entire process but it will be more tough for them to match the theoretical value and uh, the experimental value. The later 20th century the CFD becomes a boom in uh, every industrial as well as for the research scholars. This CFD actually connects a bridge between the experimental and the theoretical concepts. Uh, for example, everyone can know and came to know about the wind tunnel, right? This wind tunnel is mainly used to analyze the flow, uh, flow deviations or flow separations or flow over around any objects where you can give an aerofoil or a car, bike, maybe a building model or everything you can analyze in, in the wind tunnel. But uh, when you are going for a wind tunnel, most of the theoretical explains that the flow over the object can only determine the laminar flow or the boundary flows, their uh, flow profiles. But what the practical knowledge and what the theoretical knowledge will do is, they told that uh, the flow over the uh, aerofoil or a basic model depends only upon the speed of the air which is blown over the objects but the CFD when you are going for CFD it will give you the uh, more accurate value the reason is that not uh, not the speed of an aircraft or either not the speed of the air flow which flows over the object will determine your flow nature of flow that is laminar or turbulent but the actual parameter is the Reynolds number this is the main parameter which determines your nature of flow whether it is a laminar or a turbulent. So this concepts won't be clearly understand by everyone else because they don't know about this concept that is hiding in this uh, uh, flow patterns. Uh, before the development of CFD, uh, the scientists or research scholars were keep on trying to relate this, how the uh, values are getting uh, varies when we are doing experimental and uh, in the theoretical purpose. But they can't be able to link it, why, what is the reason. But after the development of the CFD, it gives us the solution that the interpret result of the experiment as well as the theoretical value which can be given accurately by the CFD, that is computational fluid dynamics. So the CFD is the main tool which is used to interpret the result from the experimental value and the concept explained in the theoretical values. By this software one can easily attain the accurate values and the hidden parameters which actually uh, affects the flow patterns or uh, any other things. What type of a research you can be able to do that depends on you can uh, use our this CFD tool. 
So the CFD has a vast, uh, uh, I mean, applications. Uh, most of the application you know is it is used in the aerospace industries or aeronautical industries. Other than that, they, you can be able to know it is used for an automobile sectors. But uh, the hidden truth is that it can also be used in the biomedical industries to so to get the uh, flow patterns of a fluid that is our blood cells moving around inside a body. Then uh, for in a thermal purpose when you are considering this room, uh, we, now we are able to fix our AZ over this room. So at what positions you can fix your AZ so that the air flows, how the air can be flow uh, to the entire room can be analyzed by the CFD software. So you can uh, able to uh, fix your AZ at a certain place so that we can be able to attain the air flow throughout the room like this there is a last uh, uh, sorry vast of uh, applications will be uh, covered by this CFDs this will be discussed on our further videos so I think uh, this video should be very useful for you guys thank you